Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know that it's got Jake. This is your weekly update coming at you today. Now, Jake, we're in my garage today. Did you notice? Yeah, we had a little cold front come in. A little windy today. Leaves are on the ground. They're just like raining leaves in my backyard. Yeah. I mean, we could, there's no way we could have done this. That's better than raining men. Huh? That old song. It's raining men. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, we got a lot of coming up, guys. A it's, lot. You should see this uh, note thing right here. Yeah, it's it's the holiday season. You know what next week is, don't you? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I call it pre-Christmas. Hey, listen, I know some of you like to check out. You don't watch these videos because we act up all the time. Watch the video. We've got a lot of important stuff. If you come up to me Sunday and you ask a question about what we're fixed to talk about, we'll give you a little religious spanking. Yeah, and share this on your platforms. Uh, Facebook, um, Twitter, the links, Twitter, YouTube, whatever you need to do. Uh, Jake, we have the Angel Tree. We yep. do Angel Tree every year, and it's a great tree. ministry. Hawkins Helping Hands, uh, Angel Tree Network. Uh, each kid has a wish list of three items. Come by the info desk after the service. If you want to pick up and sponsor one of our local kids in the Hawkins Big Sandy community, so that they can have a Christmas. So we'll need to pick those up this Sunday because I'll have to have those back. I think it's like December 7th or 8th or something like that. Um, we, we always have a great turnout for this. If we run out of the Hawkins Helping Hands Christmas Angels, we still have opportunities with kids in our church and in our community that didn't qualify for the Hawkins Helping Hands that were already taking names and we're going to be sponsoring families. And so... We've got a lot of opportunities for you to help out and bless families this Christmas. So see me at the info desk after the service. So, Jake, just a question. How, if, if we know a family that uh, maybe needs help? They need to call me. They need to call me or Paula. Um, and we'll, we'll, I'll meet with them. We'll get everything set up within reason. I mean, heck, I'd like a new Mercedes. I mean, I ain't getting I that. So Vasco. we're going to bless people. Within reason, um, a lot of these kids are cool, man. They're not asking for big stuff. A lot of them, and it breaks my heart every year, it really does. They're asking for stuff. I take, like, I'll never forget the year Ashley and I sponsored a kid, and socks was on his list. And I'm like, mm. are you kidding me? And so I'm telling you, man, it's just a great opportunity. Uh, we actually went ahead and bought him a toy anyway, yeah. even though he was asking for, like, clothing items and jackets and coats. That's always big. So it's a cool deal, man. Yeah. Hey, last year, you know, Christmas is coming up. We didn't get to do a Christmas Eve service just because of the COVID and all that good stuff. So we are actually going to do that this year, December the 24th, 5 o'clock. It's going to be a Christmas Eve night of worship, and it's really excited about that. Our worship team's already working on that, and so kind of bringing back some normalcy uh, to the Christmas holidays. Now, Christmas falls on Saturday this year, Jake, yep, yep, so yep, yep, we'll yep. have a Christmas Eve service on Friday, then we'll do Christmas, and then we'll do church on Sunday morning yep, after yep. Christmas, so it's going to be a busy weekend, uh, excited about what's going on. And then January 2022, Jake, it's crazy. Our Disciple Now for our student ministry is go already open for registration, make a great Christmas gift Oh yeah, uh, for you to send a teenager to Disciple Now. Uh, if you want to either give a scholarship amount to that as a kind of like a Christmas gift, or you have teenagers, go ahead and register yeah, get them, them kids on, registered, 6th through 12th grade. Yeah, you could go on online uh, to our website to our student ministry website registration is open so get that if done. you don't know what a D now is disciple now weekend it's a big weekend event for Friday our youth through ministry Sunday. Friday through yeah. Sunday it's Martin awesome. Luther King weekend which is my wife's birthday yeah. when I used to always fall on her birthday so uh, get them registered it's going to be an incredible weekend uh, worship leader is a great friend of ours we've known for years uh, Michael John got a Michael special. John's coming to Summit he is dude Ooh. Uh, and then a speaker, I've not heard of the speaker, but I'm excited, uh, came highly recommended to us from Michael John. So uh, it's going to be a great weekend. Get your kids signed up for it. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. So, Jake, um, we got a lot to celebrate at Summit. There's been a, some really cool stuff. Baptism the last couple of weeks. Baptism the last couple of weeks. Um, had some um, folks saved during the invitation over the last couple of weeks that we're working with and following up with. Exciting about that. Heard this last week, uh, Jake, in our preschool department. 
Uh, for you guys who don't know, we have preschool in our children's part department back there, and our preschool department had the largest amount of babies that they've had. People and, making babies. And I don't know how during COVID. It, COVID, that's right. Uh, just incredible. So we celebrate what's going on in our children's ministry and our preschool ministry. Children's ministry last night. You want to talk about what they did last night? Over 80 kids showed up last night to pack those Operation Christmas Child boxes and send those overseas. It was crazy good, as yeah. Ashley said. It was it's, a wild There's a good night. kind of chaos, Edward, you know. There's like a good kind of, yeah. there's like an energy and people are like, man, this is chaotic. But you're like, no, this is exciting. You've got 80 kids that are packing Christmas boxes for kids overseas. Yeah. That's the kind of chaos we celebrate, Edward. Oh, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I've, had, I've had a little too much coffee this morning, yeah, as you I'm, can tell. I, that one more is going to push me over, so I'm going to stop. Hey, I also want to encourage you. I know I'm hearing a lot of good things. I got some uh, texts from you guys and some emails that uh, you guys are reading through the Psalms. And, uh, man, I, 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 this one was so good. I don't know if you read it this morning. Well, I got to con- make a confession, Edward. Right. Uh, my morning woke up this morning with one of our alarms going off at the church. Oh, and so I had to go deal with that. And then I had to get the kids to school. And then I had to deal with something at the doctor's office. And so I haven't read the psalm this morning. Well, it's, it's really good. And, and we've got that reading list on our website. Uh, if you go to the next steps and click on resources, you can see that reading list. If you've not joined in with us, just join in. Just join uh, this week. Don't worry. You can catch up later. Uh, join in. We're also putting on another resource today. It's really cool. One of our elders, Joe Fields, wrote uh, back in 2002 uh, on the Psalms. And so we're going to be uploading that today for you to look at where you can see some history of the Psalms nice. and uh, see how the Psalms are divided up. And so I thought that's kind of a, just a cool resource. Yeah. It's been fun. Uh, this morning is when David uh, pretended to be insane, and it was his psalm that he wrote during that. And oh, so yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of a background of just what's going on, and, and, and then the reference is back in 1 Samuel, where you can look at that and go back and read that if, you, if you're so inclined. So uh, just resources we're going to give you guys to help you uh, worship, to help you grow in the Lord. Uh, somebody told me the other day, it's been a good challenge, uh, and just to stay up and read. Well, every day. dude, I'm telling you, I'm love. I mean, and to me, the best part is, is for all of us that finish the Psalms reading plan, is you're giving us a gift. It's like those Pizza Hut reading programs when you're in elementary yeah. school. You read a book, you get a pizza. We read through these Psalms, and Edward's gonna bless us with. I think it's a financial gift of some sort. So I'm excited about that. That's. I think that's why. I have such an eating problem now because of the reading programs in elementary. You know, read a book, get a pizza. Hey, Silent, we love you. We hope you have a great weekend. i got to stop him. He's had too much coffee. Uh, 10 o'clock this Sunday morning, invite somebody to come with you. If you're online, ask somebody to join you online. And uh, we are so grateful for our online church, for you guys that join us every week. We love you. We'll see you at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, either live or online. See you, Summit.